Question 21. Let L be a line, two of whose symmetric equations are equivalent to 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 and x plus 3z minus 1 equals to 0. Find a set of symmetric equations for line L. Find a point on line and a vector parallel to line L. Okay. Have a look at this question. Try it yourself. And uh, once you've written down your solution, look into my solution, okay? Now, let's read it again. Try to understand this question. Let L be a line, two of whose symmetric equations are equivalent to this. That means you can always split the equation and write it like shown here, okay? That's very important. 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 and x plus 3z minus 1 equals to 0, right? As such, we have seen that how we do write symmetric equation as you remember how, right? x minus x0 over, let's say, m1 equals to y minus y0 over m2 equals to z minus z0 over m3, right? We can split into 3 and write, so we are not very surprised that here you know, we are split into 2 and we are writing, okay? At times I've seen students really getting confused and I was also so confused with this kind of a question. But then I realized that, you know, there are all the options, right? If you can split into 3 and then equate them equal to 0 and write, why not like this, right? Okay, and let's see whether it is... Uh, same system or not. So find a set of symmetric equations, so like this, what we are trying to say, and find a point on the line L and a vector parallel to line L. So that becomes the part of the vector and that becomes the part of our point, right? So I think that let's try to do it and see if we can do translate this into that form. So the whole equation is kind of not clear to us what we need to do, correct? So now let's try to do it. So how should we write like this? So what we will do is we'll start with the equation 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 and see what best can be done. So we have 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. So let's isolate uh, one of the variables and let's isolate y from here. y minus will bring it this side. So you say 2x plus 4 equals to y. Correct. And uh, we can factor out 2 from here, right? If we factor out 2 from here, so we get 2 times x plus 2 equals to y. And, well, if we divide by 2, then we get x plus 2 equals to y over 2. Now, that looks familiar, does it? x plus 2 equals to y over 2 is kind of this. Think as if it is y minus 0. Does it make sense? And then we got a part of it, right? It seems to be familiar. So we'll stop here for this equation and uh, do the same thing for the second one, right? So let's do that. So we have here x plus 3z minus 1 equals to 0. And we'll do the same procedure and find what this should be. So the strategy is that we want to equate them to equal to, right? So what we can do is, there is no y here, but there's an x. So we'll do what is x plus 2 equals to, right? So if I write x plus 2 equals to something, then I can equate them like this. So that is the strategy. Okay, so let's do it. So first let's take these terms to the other side, and if we do so, we get x equals 2, Let's x equals 2, so we bring these terms here, so we have minus 3z plus 1, and since I want x plus 2, let me add 2 to both sides, right? So we get x plus 2 equals 2 minus 3z plus 1 plus 2, okay? So this becomes x plus 2. So we got the same thing on the left side. Okay, now we can, this is 1 plus 2 is 3, right? So, okay, we'll go one more step here, 3z plus 3, and um, now let's take 3 common, correct? 
So if we take 3 common, uh, let's say minus 3 common, then we'll have this as positive coefficient. So let's say minus 3 common, and we get this z minus 1, correct? And, uh, well, we could write this as z minus 1 divided by minus 1 over 3. Perfect. Now, so we got x plus 2 equals to z minus 1 over 1 minus 3. Do you see that corresponds to the third part of our symmetric equation, correct? So, well, that brings closer to the solution. You can now see the solution. That's the beauty of vectors. You can sometimes see the solution. Vectors is all about visualizing things, right? So if you could visualize, you could be good at this subject. So let's equate these two. They are similar, right? Both are x plus 2. So we can write this as x plus 2 equals to y over 2, which is equal to z minus 1 over minus 1 over 3. Wow. So that is perfectly matching with our symmetric uh, line equation format. Correct? Now from here, we can answer the rest of the questions. So let's say uh, <coughs> that was first part and now we can answer these two. That means find a set of symmetric equation for I1. That is the set of symmetric equation for not I, so length L. Okay. So let me call this as length L. Okay. Length, length L. <laughs> line. Line. Okay. So that's the equation of our line L. L equals to, the equation of the line is, x plus 2 equals to y over 2 equals to z minus 1 divided by minus 1 over 3. Now from here you can write down set of points. So what could be a set of point on this? Set of point is, let's compare it, minus 2 for x, right? Minus 2 for x and y should be minus 0, right? So 0 that means and this is 1, correct? So that is the set of point. So we say, let's say this this is the point P on our line L. And what should be the direction? So here it is. This is the denominator, right? And this is equal to 1, 2, and minus 1 over 3, correct? It is always good to write it in, not in fractions, in integers, correct? We'll multiply everything by 3 and so we get 3, 6 and minus 1. So that's our answer. I hope you liked the solution and our approach to this problem. It is indeed a very interesting problem and that gives you fairly good idea about equations of line, especially symmetric equations representing the line. Thank you.